The pristine waters surrounding the archipelago of Fernando de Noronha are home to a mesmerizing underwater realm. Nestled off the northeastern coast of Brazil, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is known for its crystal clear waters, vibrant coral reefs, and diverse marine ecosystem. Among the many majestic creatures that inhabit these waters, one species stands out, the tiger shark. This week, I'm embarking on a journey back to this island to film tiger sharks. The footage in this video is what initiated my journey back. Filmed last year, these were the first tiger shark versus sea turtle predation attempts ever recorded there from a drone. As a result of this documentation, there is now an ongoing tiger shark study utilizing drones at the island. The tiger shark versus sea turtle battle likely unfolds here every day. My initial observations indicate the tiger sharks are young sharks learning how to hunt. Every tiger shark I observed seemed to employ the same tactic. They try to force the turtles into shallow water, making several passes by them, each time driving them shallower and shallower. Once there, the sharks seemingly gain the advantage. As the turtles get into this shallow water, there is a likelihood of sharks, turtles, and humans in the same space. A recipe for an accident. This beach contains the only oceanic mangrove forest in the South Atlantic. The nutrients there attract turtles, a favorite meal for the tiger shark. Because of this, this beach is now closed for human water activities. The local authorities typically implement measures to minimize the risk of shark encounters. The following sequence of events is perhaps some of the most unique footage I have ever captured. Watch this. Once in the shallows, the tables turn. The turtle is not as maneuverable and the shark gets the upper hand. And then it happens. Contact. The tiger shark has the turtle. Then suddenly the turtle manages to slip away. It goes upside down for protection. In an unbelievable fashion, it escapes. The speed of the turtle and the pursuit by the shark is not like anything I've ever seen. The turtle heads for the reef. It's an incredible display of speed and one I did not expect. Finally, the turtle reaches the reef and the shark gives up. In nature, battles like this take place all of the time. In this case, sometimes the turtle wins and sometimes the shark will get a meal. It cannot be understated how important this relationship is. Without the presence of tiger sharks to feed on the adult turtles and other predators that feed on the hatchlings, a local ecological imbalance may occur. This shark did not give up though. As evidenced here, it actually grabs another turtle using the same tactic. With the turtle in its jaws and seemingly injured, the shark drags it. The shark's struggle to hold it is visible.
In slow motion, you can see that he is clearly dragging the turtle. But once again, the turtle slips away. This turtle appears injured, perhaps even dazed. But somehow, at the very last moment, it gets the strength to zoom away. The shark gives up once again. On this morning, the shark will not eat. But it's a valuable lesson in hunting. From above, it can be noted that the sharks in this bay are inexperienced and have much to learn about hunting around the island. More studies are needed in areas around this bay to test the hypothesis that it may serve as a learning area for inexperienced tiger sharks in the South Atlantic. The movement patterns of tiger sharks in Fernando de Neronia are still not well understood. Some sharks that were tracked with satellite transmitters exhibited distinct migratory and movement behaviors. But according to researchers at the island, Fernando de Naronia has the largest global genetic diversity of tiger sharks. In fact, one of the largest, if not the largest tiger shark on record, measuring 4.5 meters, was recorded at the island. There are currently efforts to create the first shark sanctuary in the South Atlantic. The aerial data being compiled there is a very important tool to not only learn about the ecological dynamics at play here, but also the prospects of protecting the area. It's without a doubt that this small island in Brazil is one of the most beautiful places on the planet. It is rightly a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Many areas around the island are untouched and are protected, and they are as they were a hundred years ago. That is a reward for protecting such a unique place. Please read the links in the video description to learn more about the research and conservation programs currently in place on the island. And stay tuned. I'm certain this year, in the coming days, I'll see some sharks doing some remarkable things. See you soon.